the bus brush for the Peter Sasha Public Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda. And we're here to tell you things about the second half of June, but we're not even really <laughs> through with what we did for the first half. Last episode was was a roller coaster ride. Let me just give you a hint. Bzzz. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you haven't yet, please tune back and watch the first um, half of June because it is a book buzz that you do not want to miss. Um, that's going to be one was, of our classic reels. Um, it's images that will never leave my mind. <laughs> the rest of my life. Sorry. So good. Um, so the kids that are filming us right now are probably wondering what the heck is going yeah, on because really. they missed it. Okay, but it was now all right. So now moving on, we're professional. We're going to move on with our show. The show must go on. So, yes, um, professional. We're going to talk about nature's nature's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to get the basket? Oh yeah, no, we're not doing that, that yet. We're not going to talk about nature's rainbow because no. I can't even think about that. So let's talk. So summer reading is in full swing. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my god, this is something else. We're good. We're good. We're good. This will be a yes. This is so <laughs> God. And you know what? We haven't we we've had episodes where we've laughed before mm -hmm. through the whole thing. Yeah, pretty much. So we are now in the middle of summer reading. Well, the middle of the June. June. So summer reading is fully kicked off. Um, the official programs like haven't started completely yet, but. You can start logging your reading if you haven't already done so. And what's nice about our summer reading program is even is you can jump in and start it at any point. Um, True. Obviously, the earlier you do, the more time you have to earn all those points for reading throughout the summer. But if you're just catching us now and wondering, you know, what the world is going on, we're here to tell you that summer reading is is happening. Yeah. And you know, you can go ahead and get signed up. And the best part about summer reading is yep, get prizes. our goodies. So for. This is one of our samples. We made 139 prize baskets. This is just one of them. Um, they're they all, all they're all different. Like they're all about this size yep. with multiple things. This one has a couple books. It has some little um, souvenirs in it, like a like a, there's a plastic cup and some candy and things. And then there's also a really cool um, coding board game in here. That's cool. Um, so that's a pretty nice one. They're all nice, and you you can win these very simply. All you have to do is read. The more that you read, the more chances that you have. Um, for every, um, it's all done through Beanstack, which is a free app. We've used it before, so those of you that have already done it, mm -hmm. you know this is, it's, we're doing exactly how we've done it in the last couple years. But if you're new to some reading program, you definitely can join in. It is open for birth through, we actually even do a program through the adults, but um, our department focuses only mm -hmm. on birth through teen. And depending on your age, you have different goals. So like our birth, our babies through our preschoolers, it's for all the books that, you get a point for every book that is read to you. Um, and that can be the same book over and over again. Like last night, <clears throat> my daughter wanted me to read, I think eight books and three of them were repeated that I had just finished reading and mm -hmm. she wanted me to read it again before bedtime. So that all counts, mm -hmm. that's eight books. So if I was to log that for her, that would be eight points. Um, you can earn additional points um, by attending programs. Mm -hmm. You actually get, I think, five points per program, so you okay. definitely want to come to those. <coughs> um, you can get points for reading a book by a particular topic. Mm -hmm. We have a whole list on our Bean so on the Beanstack app, there's a spot to log your reading. There's also a tab that says activities. Some activities you can just do one time. Other activities you can do over and over again and earn points. So, for example, attending our programs, you can come to any program that, you, that you're able to register for, mm -hmm. and for everyone that you come to, so say, for example, you come to you know, preschool story time ev or you know, book babies every week, week. this yeah. summer, you will earn you know, points for every single one that you attend. Even if though it's the same program theme, it is a different program, it, a mm. different event each time. So you get points for that. Um, some, pro some point things you can only do once. They, uh, for instance, like attending or kickoff, you obviously can only do that one time because it only happens once. Um, you can get in a point for attending community day. Again, that's a one time event. Also, you can earn, I believe it's five points just by verifying that you have a library card. Um, and it's encouraging families to get cards for their children because that's a really, there's, we don't have a specific um, age right. guideline on an age to get a card. We let that be entirely up to the caregivers. So 
sometimes when the kids are getting ready to go into kindergarten, that's like right. a really exciting thing to do. Like, oh, you're they a kindergartner now. You can get your own library you card and walk the out there with the, up to the front desk with your card. So <clears throat> that's another way to earn some points. And it's different by age level. So the birth to pre-K, again, is the books that, number of books that you read. Our kindergarten mm -hmm. through our sixth graders, they are the amount of time you spend reading. So every minute that you read or somebody reads to you or you listen to an audiobook, you earn a point. Again, it does not matter what you are reading because some of our kids are going to be reading um, Harry Potter this summer. Some of our kids are reading Magic Treehouse. Some of our kids are reading Elephant Piggy. Some of our kids are younger, entering kindergarten and first grade. They're not reading at all. Somebody's reading to them. Right. That all Perfect. counts as yep. reading minutes. Um, and then for our teens, which is our middle school and our high school students, our 7th through 12th graders, um, they will keep track of the page numbers that they read because <clears throat> Teens told, me, t teens told me that they didn't really want to pay attention to how much time they spent reading. Right. But they can tell, they can look at their book and see their book was 350 pages. So, so when they're done, easier. they can just go ahead and enter the pages. Yeah, it's tough um, to keep track. Of yeah. That. yeah. So for the little ones, we still focus on the time because like picture books aren't always numbered and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So, right. um, so that's how it works. And again, you earn points for doing all these different things. Mm -hmm. And halfway... Um, probably in July, we'll pull out our mm -hmm. halfway prizes. You might reach your halfway goal ahead of that. Um, you'll get a notification on your device when you've met halfway to your goal. Again, everybody's gr age group has a different goal. You know, we sat down over the years and really try to figure out what was a um, a challenge, but still a very obtainable goal because we want kids to be able to do this and right, to be able to have the course. satisfaction of completing yeah. the challenge. Um, so once they get halfway there. You'll get a notification that you have a halfway prize. Um, you won't be able to pick those up at the library, though, until July. We'll pull them out at that point. I'm um, glad you brought that up <clears throat> because, um, you know, some of them meet them pretty quick. Right. You yeah. know, depending on their how much they how read. much they mm -hmm. read. Right. Um, and they'll come in really quick, and you're like, whoa, yeah. you know, good for you. But you yes. Know. So July will is when we'll we'll make it be yeah. when they can first come out because that gives us time to make sure we have the prizes ready to go. Um, and that we don't right. get picked over too soon or whatever. Right. So, and that is technically, basically, the, technically, basically, <laughs> halfway through. Words. Yes, halfway yeah. through the program. The program does start a few days earlier this year because the kickoff is June first, mm -hmm. and um, that gives you a couple extra days to get those points logged. So that's cool. Too. Look at you. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is one of our decorations. I'm playing over here with our decorations. I want to make one more comment about the, the um, reading program. What I also like about it, there's so many people taking vacations this year. Mm -hmm. And no matter where you are, how long you're gone, you're not home, you can't make programs, but you keep reading and you keep right. getting points. So right. And yeah, you, matter can, you can keep track of it anywhere are. because you can do it right on your phone or mobile device. Yep, for which sure. Which is nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nature's Rainbow. Yes. Oh, we've got some really cool things coming up. You could do that one now. Perfect. Do the next so one. So we have, have thing. yeah, let me just make sure Rainbow is the uh, Is it on there? Yeah, there? yeah. So we have, we're having the, um, the Pittsburgh National Aviary is mm -hmm. going to be coming to the library for two programs. They're going to be doing Nature's Rainbow, which is for like preschool to kindergarten age students on Tuesday the 18th at 10. And then they're going to be doing amazing adaptations um, for four first through fourth grade students on Tuesday the 18th at 11. Mm -hmm. They will be bringing in live animals um, and maybe feeding them with live insects. <laughs> maybe. Too soon. Or Miss Linda might be there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, again, I mentioned this last episode, um, or attempted to. When we're doing these big events, we, um, I know that the age groups definitely um, you know, we have one obviously geared for younger kids and one geared for the early, like for elementary school age kids. We ask that you decide as a family which one that you're going to attend just because mm -hmm. we are limited on space. So please do not, um, for the fairness of our space and for making sure everybody has a chance to see these animals and to participate in these events, um, decide what's going to work best for your family yep. and attend. One or group. the other. Yes, please register yeah, for just one. That's and fair. I think we do have a note on the, on the registration, but that's just a friendly reminder, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
Unless you're gonna like divide and conquer, and maybe like mom's gonna take the kids to like to some of the kids if you have a bigger family to this event, and then the caregiver or whoever's gonna come to another event, that's fine. But we just ask that you know the entire family does not come to both events and take up space from others. From students. others that would like to enjoy it as well. Right. I agree. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I thought this sounded. I just even like the title of this. The Magic of Science with Cat in the Hat. Yes. How cool is this? Okay, so um, first of all, this is going to be, wow, towards the end of the month, Friday, June 28th, 10 o'clock, 10, 10 to 1045, uh, grades uh, kindergarten through fourth. Explore the wonderful world of science with the help of science demonstrations, magic, and imagination. Children will learn about physics, math, optics and chemistry and this program this is the best part because i love these will be presented by magician steve haberman and how cool is that i love a good magic show oh, i really I do, do too and and like not only magic I, and bringing like, in the wow, reading of it and stuff yeah, too yeah bringing in what some really cool things that they're right. going to learn i think yeah. it's and this is exciting because this program is actually being done um, through our partnership with WQED. They are the ones who are funding this event for us. Thank um, you. Yes. So mm -hmm. we are, our, our grant is funded actually by Clearview Federal Credit Union. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Okay. And they are the ones that are sponsoring this event for us. So yeah. we're really excited to have that. And this one is for K-4, to so yep. kindergarten through fourth That's graders. Right. I'm really excited about it. Love uh, a good magic me show. Me too. <clears throat> so. Okay, weird Barbie. I know. I wish I'd have grabbed one. Um, so oh, we just did, picture in your mind. Well, I mean, most. I mean, a lot of people, teens and adults, have seen the Barbie movie, and after that, weird Barbie has become such a. I don't know, popular concept. I don't really know what the it's right word. Yeah, it's a phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it is earth like a, changing yes or life changing. um and so we are going to be making weird barbies at the library um we're actually doing multiples of these we're going to be doing a teen only weird barbie and then later on we're going to be doing one for younger kids because it seems like the the age range and wanting to do this is pretty broad <clears throat> we had a barbie event um in february for teens only where we made weird barbies we made i am knuff shirts mm -hmm. we watched barbie um shows and they loved it so much where they're like, when can we do do this again? And I'm like, well, I still have Barbies, so we can do it again. So we're going to be doing a teen-only weird Barbie. All the supplies will be provided for you, including the doll. Um, but we are limited on those supplies, so you do have to sign up to make sure that we have enough um, Barbies and Barbie accessories and materials to go around. So, because we're also yeah. doing in the fall, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing zombie Barbie. So I had to make sure we have some Barbies left for that. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I just remember looking at the Barbies from when you did it they the last it, time. They loved it, and they did such a good job. They did. They were so imaginative, mm -hmm. and I was looking going, wow, what kind of mind do they have? Yeah, and it's it so funny because so many of the kids have come up, and this has been months now. And they're like, oh, yeah, I saw my Barbie. She's up on my shelf. Like, I just said she's mixed. She's, like, they loved this program. Oh. And um, so, yeah, so we're going to do it again on um, the 19th. It should be a Thursday um, afternoon, I believe, at 1 o'clock. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, and, and your favorite. And then Mario Karts, yes. Tournament. So the Mario Kart tournament has been something we kind of do um, throughout the year. I like to use this as a nice program on um, in-service days or whenever the kids are off school. Obviously, you're off school all summer, so because of that, we're going to do one a month for different eight for all ages. So yeah. we um, have our first through third graders will be at 10:30 on the 21st. Then our tweens will be at 12:30, and then our um, teens will be at 2:30. So make sure you sign up. We do have limited space, but it is a lot of fun. And people have asked me, you know, what do we do at the Mario Kart tournament? And that's pretty much what we do: is the kids play Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. um, we, I make sure that every kid that comes gets to play at least two to three times. Uh, I used to do more of a kind of cut and dry, like, okay, well, you lost, you're out kind of tournament. And with the younger ones, they like had, they didn't <clears throat> really care for that too much. Probably not. No, they had some tears. Mm -hmm. um, but now that doesn't seem to be an issue as much. So we, I give them practice rounds. I make sure that they all get to play. And then I even do like a bracket for the kids that all placed like last they get one last shot mm. to be in there and have a comeback or I do a wild card or whatever, depending on how it's going. Um, it's a lot of fun. 
they really enjoy it. They just love coming and play. You know, being well, for the younger ones, they love being able to chance to use the teen room. True. <coughs> And they it come is in, special. and yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that will be on the 21st. Stay tuned because we will be doing one in July and August as well. Very fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you pull them in with those ones. Yeah, they like them. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Last time, the first episode, we talked about the Tween Book Club, The Thing About Jellyfish by Allie Benjamin. Um, it's going to be on Monday, uh, June 27th at 4 o'clock. I know that some of the tween program uh, times have changed, but <clears throat> mine haven't, just for consistency. You have a long day out at the pool having fun. You can come and cool off and get together. We'll have, we always have a snack, but what I do in the summertime is make sure it's a cold snack. So you'll have or something. Or an insect that's been deep fried. Well, don't tell them that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, jellyfish, I'm sure you can find that. I should look that up because then I could know the answer for my book club. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah. Or maybe so you can't because aren't they, I guess they're poisonous. Maybe you can't digest That's a true. jellyfish. Well, they not all of them, they sting, right? They sting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not ready to go there yet. I'm still on the insects. Yeah. It's still in well, my... Well, now <coughs> I need to know. Still on my, in my and body. And this is about a girl who knows a lot of things, so I think you should know a little bit more about the jellyfish. All right, I'll work on that. Um, <laughs> I'll work on my knowledge of jellyfish. So uh, we're doing a, another program that's different this year. It'll be a weekly program because our weeklies we do, you know, toddler tales and um, what else do we do? Book babies and mother goose and that we do <clears throat> weekly year round anyway. But this summer, we're adding another one with Miss Patty and I. We're doing a Thursday morning one, and it's called Story Adventures. So I think um, we're just adding another dimension, another element for older kids. We're trying, we tried really hard to go through mm -hmm. and try to reach every grade level. Age group, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so this also begins everything, all the programs are starting the last week of June. Mm -hmm. So this is going to start on that Thursday, June 27th, and it's a morning program at 10 a.m. So, yeah, yeah. And just it's, come yeah, in it's for like those kindergarteners entering first grade students, Exactly, right? yeah, let me just Five, make sure. Five, six, I, I think that. it said. I think so, too. Um, four to six. Four to six. Okay, so even like preschool. Yeah, just about going into kindergarten. I think more so kindergarten to six is what more it should be. But perfect. Another fun one. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. And then finally, um, again, we have our Teen Choice Book Club. It's going to be on. It's going to be on Tuesday, the twenty fifth. Our Teen Choice Book Club is for many years has been a Saturday afternoon program. Our staffing has changed. We are welcoming Miss Sarah on board mm -hmm. to do teen programming, and she's going to be taking this program over and offering it on a Tuesday evening. We'll see how it goes, because, I mean, maybe that's better. Just teen schedules are always kind of a little bit difficult, so we're just going to see what works best. Mm -hmm. um, we'll still feed you pizza, and this time, month they're going to be discussing, discussing The Star That Always Stays by Anna Rose Johnson. So it should cool. be a good one. Yeah. I'm Stuff keeps rolling on. It's just showing all. I mean, not only are we doing all of our regular programs, but you add all these specials. It's unbelievable. And that's just June. Right. Wait till you see July. It's going to be insane. We have the zoo. We have oh my all gosh. kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, we do the, the aviary. The science center, the oh. aviary, um, puppet shows coming mm. back, the mobile fab lab, bingo, so much stuff. So and that's just, oh, just we a could taste even of it. Mention this we didn't mention. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, let's mention yeah. this. So Bringing Back by Popular Demand is our All Ages Tie-Dye tie event. Yeah. Um, in year, last year, we sold T-shirts that you could bring in and tie-dye. Um, this year, it's if you have one from last year, mm -hmm. you're welcome to bring it. But if not, we're just having you bring in your own um, whites. Only two items per person. Two. Yep. No more than that. Um, and we're having it actually offering it on two different sessions. We're going to do it on June 18th and 19th from 2 to 7, weather permitting. Last year, the weather was wild because that's when we had the um, air quality alerts. Oh, that's right. And yeah. we had to keep rescheduling the tie-dye for that purpose. Yeah. Never okay. had we ever thought that would be something no, we had to reschedule for. But different. that was... That was something. So, yeah, so that will be on June 18th and 19th. You That's do not great. have to sign up for it. It's just a first come, first serve. 
Some people, we did, last year we did run out of supplies. Um, and so the last few families that showed up only had like blue dye to use. Um, so yeah. just kind of first come just first. Know that. Yeah. And also please be mindful that dye is permanent. So do not dress in anything that you are worried about getting dye Oh, on. that's for sure. Because your little ones will get dye yep. on them. And that's the end of that outfit. Yes. So, um, yeah. Yeah. A I lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Quick mention. All right. Talk about a book. Wow, look at that. We're going to actually be able to talk about books this time. Okay. And we're going on an adventure. That's so, I don't know if we mentioned that in this mm -hmm. episode, but go ahead and pull your book, Linda, while I'm talking about. So the National Summer Reading theme is Adventure <coughs> Begins Your Library. That's why we have our safari hats on. We have our Adventure Begins at the Library t-shirts. Um, and so we're going to be talking about going on adventures through all of our stories mm -hmm. this summer. And when, as you enter the Youth Services Department, it's an adventure in of itself. It is. So I broke down my books in different adventures, all right? Because, cool. and I'm so glad you just said what it was, that it's, it, the summer's all going to be about different adventures. And wait till you see how we're going to decorate it. It's all going to be fun. Um, I think you're really going to, you're going to get that feel when you walk in. Yeah. And with all the things that we're going to be doing within the programs. So my first, I'm just going to do these two books quickly together because um, I put these under Let the Adventure Begin. So, and you'll, you'll notice that the um, hot air balloon is going to be a big little mm -hmm. uh, uh, statement or you know, whatever throughout the library. So I have jo Curious George and the hot air balloon. Good choice. Yes, absolutely. And With bonus activities inside. Yes, bonus. And then um, I have How Two Brothers Invented the Hot Air Balloon. It's called Up. Uh, and away. How cool is that? I love that's cool. How's that for perfect mm -hmm. timing? You know, coming out with a, a book about um, how they built it. And here it even says, as he sat and watched bits of paper crackle and rise in the smoke of a fireplace, a thought came to him. And oh, what a thought. Huh. So that's how it all came. So, so my cool. version of Let the Adventure Begin. Perfect. So my, um, mine is a venture through a kind of like a fairy tale. This is one of my oh. favorite books. It's by, she's an adult author, Judy Picoult, but um, she wrote this book with her daughter, Samantha Van Leer, Between the Lines. And they actually took turns writing chapter by chapter, um, I believe, from what I've read. Anyways, so in this story, it's about a girl named Delilah, and she, she hates school. She um, is kind of a little bit of a social outcast. And she has, you know, maybe a handful of friends, if that. And she always finds herself kind of lost in a book or in the library, which we love that. And particularly her favorite book is actually this old um, fairy tale book that she checks out from the public, the school library over and over and over again. And so this, the book is really interesting really cool how she, they formatted it because it goes back and forth between being the story of what's going on in Delilah's real life to what's happening in this book. And then it, there's like illustrations. And the main character has a basset hound, which is Rob's of special course, spot in my, special. my special spot in my heart. But anyways, um, she loves this book so much. And one day while she's reading it, the character in the book looks up from the page, sees her and starts talking to her. Um, from the book. So he's like lying cool. there in the book and talking to her. Um, and so she kind of ends up having a relationship with this guy in this book. And um, this, it's just, I actually listened to the book, but I was kind of disappointed that I did because the book is so really cool yeah. how it's formatted because it's in different color font and illustrations. Uh, and even the font style changes depending on what's mm -hmm. happening in the book. Like, what a really cool visual yeah. book this is. I just love it so much. So talk about an adventure, going on an adventure mm -hmm. um, into that a book cool. and literally meeting characters from the, the story. Oh, I love it. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Is it new? No. No. No, I read it's it. Been it's been around. It's been around and there's a sequel too. Um, 
beyond beyond the page or between the lines. This oh, is okay. between this is between the lines. Yeah. And the other one is about something b about the pages. But yeah, this one's from um, 2012. So oh, it was, okay. Yeah, that is. It's older. been around for a while, but it's so good. Aww. I might. It's one that might warrant a reread for me. Cool. All right. My next adventure is Adventure in the Great Outdoors. And the first book is The Best Worst Camp Out Ever. Boy and his father go on a camping trip, but everything goes wrong, or does it? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I know, it doesn't scare you. Mm -hmm. And my next choice for that is it's in it, it's called In the Wild. Oh, this one is by Joe Sepeda, and this one's by David Elliott. Another good adventure in the great outdoors. Hmm. So you can have adventures in all these places, all these yeah. different kinds of or adventures. Or even in your imagination. Oh, absolutely. Um, so this one is another popular teen book, The Maze mm. Runner. It's been adapted into film as well. But what an adventure this is. So this mm. kid wakes up one day and he's like dumped into this maze. And they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. He befriends all these different kids. And it's definitely one of those page turners turning kind of dystopian stories, but it's really holding the test of time. It, this one's been out for a while too, but um, what a very like high pace um, page turning adventure, The Maze Runner. And then if you like this, there's a whole series and then he has a prequel series. I mean, this series alone by James Dashner could keep you on adventures throughout the entire series. Those are so popular. Yeah, they're fun. Da Dashner himself too. All right, my next adventure is Adventure in Music. Hmm. How's that? This book is so cool. It's called The Boy Who Said Wow by Todd Boss. It is, I mean, you could just picture as a boy, you know, listening to the orchestra and is just um, overwhelmed. Come along with Ronan and his grandfather to Symphony Hall for an experience of a lifetime. And um, they don't have any more little easy excerpts on it, but um, it is absolutely a great book about a boy finding himself in music cool. and the adventure of music and then quickly the next adventure in music i have this is this is new actually why do we sing so yeah why Tell do me. we sing why yeah we? lullabies love songs caroling karaoke have you ever wondered why do we sing and it goes from there all around the world of people singing why do you think people sing I I have my thoughts on it um I think that you like it gives great joy to sing exactly that's what I think too mm -hmm. it does even if you're not if you don't think you're vocally talented I feel like everybody still even if they d don't sing well like still find themselves singing yeah. even in private Doesn't or matter. whatever yeah mm -hmm. like I mean I love singing in my car or yeah. you know and Lucas sings in the shower all the time and the other day he actually got out of the shower and he asked Justin, do you sing in the shower, Dad? He's like, no, but your mom sure does. <laughs> the cute. Yeah, she's like, I was going to hear you from the, when, when you walked past the bathroom when I'm singing along the shower. Yeah. Lucas, is, you can be anywhere in the house and hear him singing even when he's in the shower. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I think music just takes you back to, um, to memories mm -hmm. and happy times, even sad if it's okay. Just it, And it brings everybody together. Yeah. Like you said, we all want to just sing even if we can't. Yeah. You know, I think it's great in all kinds of different styles. So adventures in music. And I know because you and I love music. Yes. We are definite music lovers. For sure. All right. Did we survive that one? This has been an adventure. Mm -hmm. For it, sure. But we love adventures. Yes. And did you ever <laughs> find things like on your teeth? And go are like you that trying to tell me something or do you have a bug in your teeth? It's just a crusty. Little oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> A little piece of exoskeleton, <laughs> an antennae. <laughs> All right, have a great adventure. No more bugs. <laughs> All right.